what is the shape of the universe? I don't mean in a three-dimensional sense like a sphere or a cube. I mean in a four-dimensional sense like hyperspheres or hypercubes. Imagine the universe as a bubble. The universe wouldn't be the space inside this bubble, but rather the surface of the bubble. The surface is a two-dimensional shape stretched around a three-dimensional interior. The universe may be a three-dimensional surface stretched over a four-dimensional interior. If this is true, then the universe could be infinite without actually being infinite. There would be no edge, but there would be a finite amount of space, just like the surface of a sphere. There is no edge, but we have a definite and exact measure of this surface area. This means that if you go far enough, or look far enough in one direction, you will return to your starting position. While any shape you can imagine is theoretically possible for the shape of the universe, there are only a few that are way more likely than the rest. Just like how there are only spherical bubbles, no cubic ones. These shapes all have to do with the type of curvature that the universe possesses. Positive curvature, a type of curvature like an inflated balloon, negative curvature, a shape achieved when you try to hold open deflated objects, or no curvature, flat and neutral. A universe with positive curvature would be a hypersphere, a four-dimensional version of a sphere. In a positive curvature universe, parallel lines don't stay parallel. Eventually, they will come together. This is because as you go outward from a point in a positive curvature universe, there is less space than there should be. Think about what would happen if you laid paper over a sphere. The paper crumples up around the edges because on the sphere, there is less space than on a flat sheet of paper. Also on positively curved objects, geometry changes. Triangles on positively curved objects can have angles that add up to more than 180 degrees. These triangles look like they've been inflated. A universe with negative curvature would be a sort of saddle or Pringle shape, but four-dimensional. In a universe with negative curvature, parallel lines will tend to stray apart rather than come together. This is caused by the fact that as you go outward from a point in negatively curved space, there will seem to be more space than there should be. If you were to put paper over a saddle or Pringle shape, you would find that tears would form around the edges because the paper doesn't have as much space as the shape does. Negatively curved shapes have triangles whose angles add up to less than 180 degrees. These triangles look deflated, like someone sucked the air out of them. A universe with no curvature wouldn't really be a four-dimensional shape. Think of a sheet of paper, a two-dimensional object in a three-dimensional world. That might be our three-dimensional universe in a four-dimensional world. In a universe with no curvature, geometry is normal, how you learned it in school. Parallel lines actually stay parallel, triangles always have angles that add up to 180 degrees, and there seems to be just the right amount of space as you move away from a point. So, what shape is our universe? Observations of the cosmic microwave background, leftover light from the early universe and the biggest structure we can observe in space, show triangles with 180 degrees, a flat universe, but there is still some possibility of other shapes. Our measurements can never be 100% accurate, so the universe might have some tiny amount of positive or negative curvature that simply went undetected. The problem is our cosmic horizon. We can't see infinitely far into space. There is a limit. It's like horizons on Earth. You can only see a handful of miles away from eye level. The space inside our view is the observable universe, and the horizon is the cosmic microwave background. Now. Imagine trying to observe the curvature of the Earth by only observing the handful of miles around you. You would think that the Earth is flat. That might be the position we are in with our observations. The full universe might be thousands of times larger than already vast observable universe, but we couldn't tell. Overall, the shape of the universe is an interesting question that isn't quite solved.